There are many ways to achieve healing in this life. Some folks access it through a skillful back massage and a long silk. Others find it on their knees in prayer or through earbuds listening to music. I believe all healing has one divine source. Put another way, there is divinity in the hands of the masseuse as well as the surgeon, in the voice of the preacher and the rock and roller, in the wisdom, love, and patience that dwells in an educator's classroom or a parent's heart. The following scripture is a story from John 5. It tells of a crippled man who seeks healing but can't attain it until Jesus shows up. The story is called A Man Healed at the Pool of Bethsaida and can be found in John 5. After this, there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethsaida, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease they had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been sick and in that condition a long time, said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up, but while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. Now I don't know about the healing powers of the pool of Bethsaida, but Jesus tells us, that our healing is no longer bound by place or time or ability or privilege. In this story, not even faith is a prerequisite for healing. The crippled man doesn't appear to recognize Jesus or acknowledge him as anyone special. He doesn't know him from Adam, pardon the pun. Despite the absence of any profession of faith, the man is healed. What healing do you need? Our faith teaches that healing grace is available to everyone, everywhere, and at all times. It's limitless through Jesus. As always, I welcome your thoughts and feedback and appreciate those who forward these messages to friends and loved ones when the Spirit moves. The song pairing is coming back to you. Until next time, stay safe, be brave, and keep walking in the light.